Okay, I'm using, um, I'm going to paint this tree using three different values and also pulling up the branches using, um, preferably, our squared, um, our sharpened pencil, uh, paintbrush. I did find sharpening this number 12 helpful and then rounding the tip with, I actually use an emery board or you can use some sandpaper. So for your light value, it's a mix of cad yellow or Hansa yellow medium along with cerulean. Your medium value would be a light amount of yellow, whichever you're using above, and a mid value of your cerulean blue. Your dark value would be the same yellow as above, um, and you could either use uh, French ultramarine or ultramarine. Your tree trunk for a gray is a raw sienna or yellow ochre with French ultramarine and the brown would be a burnt sienna a French ultramarine or an ultramarine. For your tools I want you to use a number 12 round brush, uh, the sharpened end of a number 12 wooden brush or a skewer. A skewer is okay, I wouldn't say it's great. And our process will be first to dry brush. So to dry brush, remember we hold, we load the, the brush, specifically the belly of the brush, and hold the brush perpendicular to the paper and let the bristles um, create the shapes. And we're putting in the light value there. And then we will, while it's still wet, we're going to drop in the midi mid value onto the light value while wet. And then we're gonna drop in the dark value close to the bottom of the leaves. Remember for the tree trunk, a juicy mix of the tree trunk values making the trunk shape. And then with the sharpened end of your brush or a skew of branches, you're going to pull out the branches and then we can use a couple paper towels at the end, torn in half to block the rest of your paper and you can splatter on your mid value while moist and wait for the painting to dry and splatter on the dark or mid value when dry. Okay, I'm going to start with my light value and I'm going to do a dry brush. So I've fully loaded my brush with my light value and I'm just going to quickly put in the shape of a tree. And then I'm just going to go into my medium value color. I'm not going to change out my color on my brush. And I'm just going to think about that there are probably some leaf clumps in it here or there. And then I'm just going to go into my dark value. And I'm going to make sure, because I have been adding water to reactivate my colors, I'm going to take some of the water out of the belly of the brush just so that it doesn't start spreading things around too much for creating our most hated cauliflowers. Okay, so you can see I dropped in some of my darker values down in here. You can pick up a little French ultramarine if you want and just touch it in and maybe a couple little places where you think there might be some darker areas. I actually just picked up a little burnt sienna just, just to create a little difference. You know, it could be a little branch coming through. Okay. So, to make the tree trunks, you want your paint mixture to be very um, moist. And we, I'm using the, the yellow okra and the French ultramarine this is for my gray. And I did find um, that by sharpening my brush, and going sideways, it was really a nice technique. 
Um, you don't use the other end of your brush anyway, so what's the difference? Okay, so I'm just going to kind of move around below where the tree would be, where I would think the trunk to, would be, and then I'm going to go in with my, my brown. This is a very squat tree. Okay. So, the biggest thing is to remember to make your tree branches not be V's. And the advantage of it being so moist and watery is you can actually pick and pull the paint. The skewers for me didn't work that well. Um, so I wasn't able to move the paint like I was there. I'm going to put some a darker value in here, probably a little French ultramarine and some um, burnt umber. Okay, so this is still wet. And um, I did talk a little bit about spattering. So here I'm going to protect. There we go. And then um, spatter my mid value in while it's still moist. I'm going to go into a little bit of my darker value. And you want it, your brush to be pretty soupy. Okay, um, let me, well, it did protect up there. Um, just a clean water brush. You can pick, pick up your little mist splats with a slightly damp clear water brush. And then also soften anything that you want. Okay, so I'm going to wait for that to dry. But considering this up here is dry, I'm going to take, um, put something down here, a little bit of my darker value. I actually use my clear water brush, okay? Um, and I'm going to take these off and clean my clear water brush out, which I picked up by mistake. And pick up anything that I want it to be just slightly, slightly damp. So just to add some more interest to the tree, I will go in that's my mid value and then let's throw in I'm just picking up some French ultramarine into my my darker value and adding shadow of the tree. So let's see if anything's still wet. So we'll see what that looks like later on and I'll post a picture of that.